President Trump claims he wasn't kidding. He was intent on killing NAFTA. That is, until he had a chat with our Prime Minister and Mexico's leader yesterday. Well, I was going to terminate NAFTA as of two or three days from now. Uh, the president of Mexico, who I have a very, very good relationship, called me. And also the prime minister of Canada, who I have a very good relationship, and I like both of these gentlemen very much, they called me. And they said, rather than terminating NAFTA, could you please renegotiate? Uh, I like them very much. I respect their countries very much. Uh, the relationship is very special. And I said, I will hold on the termination. Let's see if we can make it a fair deal, because NAFTA has been a horrible deal for the United States. Lots of threats and saber rattling this week from the U.S. leader, claiming Canada's wood and dairy sectors have an unfair advantage. They even went as far as slapping a 20% tariff on Canadian lumber. Yesterday, word leaked the White House was ready to kill NAFTA altogether, but it seems Trump will hold off, at least for now. Our Prime Minister described today just how his call with Trump played out. He expressed that yes, he was uh, he was very much thinking about uh, about cancelling, um, and uh, I highlighted that uh, quite frankly, uh, whether or not there was uh, a better deal to come, there were an awful lot of jobs, an awful lot of industries right now that have been developed under the NAFTA context, and a disruption like uh, cancelling NAFTA, uh, even if it theoretically eventually might lead to uh, better outcomes. Um, uh, would cause a lot of short and medium term pain uh, for an awful lot of families. Even if Trump decided the country would leave NAFTA, it's not that easy. The rules stipulate the U.S. would have to wait at least six months before they even try and negotiate a possible withdrawal. Now, we all know that NAFTA has a good big impact on manufacturing, lumber, and, well, of course, produce. But those in the know say a renegotiated deal won't exactly take a bite out of your grocery bill. If NAFTA is, in fact, renegotiated, what type of impact do you think this will have for consumers, people that are buying fruits and vegetables at the grocery stores? I think initially in Canada, it's not going to have a major impact because, again, as we were discussing earlier, I believe that the trade back and forth between Canada and the United States when it comes to food products is pretty similar. I think they're both around $8 billion either way. Uh, it's also lower down on the totem pole of, of, of issues as far as it relates to NAFTA. I think if, the, if, I think if it becomes a war, then obviously everything will be affected, produce as well, and then f certainly there'll be tariffs and we're going to see higher prices. Larry Davidson is the president of North American Produce, a company that buys fruits and vegetables from local sources and the U.S. for sale here in the GTA. He doesn't see the price of apples, oranges or melons going up because of NAFTA talks. I think at the end of the day, I think that people want to have fresh produce and I don't think it's going to benefit anybody by cutting off a supply and maybe making certain product unavailable. For example, greenhouse product that's grown in Canada, maybe in seasons when it's not available in the U.S. or vice versa. You don't want to eliminate something from a consumer and quite frankly, I think the retailers both on, e on either side of the border will be up in arms if something's made unavailable just as a, a mechanism in a fight for something that's really not the point of the fight. But a Ryerson professor disagrees. She's predicting a NAFTA renegotiation would lead to a temporary bump in produce prices. At least in the short run, we'll see higher price for most of the products because the climate in Canada, you know, we, we, you know there's limited season for us to produce uh, vegetables and the fruits. And some of the products, for example, coffee, cocoa, and bananas and avocado we simply and oranges we simply don't produce. We will see at least in the short run there's price increase for those products.